Is it crazy? Is it party? I don't know, but it certainly is Eurovision. Today I'm reviewing another song, which is the Spanish entry for 2024. It's called Thora and it's by Nebulosa. <laughs> Nebulosa are a duo from the province of Valencia. Not only are they a musical duo, but they've been married for 20 years. That's impressive, but what I honestly find even more impressive is that last year, they tried to enter the pre-selection for San Marino, did not audition successfully, and now they have won Benidorm Fest. Um, okay. Did not follow San Marino last year, so I'm only finding this out now and it kind of blows my mind. And that's not the only thing that blows my mind because, oh my god, this song, I've fucking love this. This is such shamelessly kitsch synth pop and it's absolutely glorious. Spain has been impressing me lately. I really liked Slow Mo in 2022 and then yeah, yeah, last year was a song I did not really care for personally but can still really appreciate as like a very interesting entry. After a lot of plodding along and sending very safe stuff before that point, I really do appreciate the new direction and the, the risks that Spain has been taking recently. And this is by far the best example so far. Uh, in my opinion anyway. There exist Eurovision songs sometimes that like I come to really love but they first need to grow on me and in that sense you can argue like are they really good Eurovision songs because most people who watch Eurovision in any way they just watch the grand final. They don't like fucking start listening to all the songs in January and give them the time to grow on them. But this song immediately clicks, I immediately loved it and I still do, in fact I love it even more now I think. Just an absolutely infectious beat and lyrics which are pretty easy to sing along to somebody who barely knows any Spanish. I don't know how the average Eurovision watcher is going to feel about this song. They might think it goes sort of too far in the kitsch direction, but I unashamedly love this. Guess I'm pulling for Spain this year. Wow. That was it. Do you love this song too, or do you just not understand my hype for it at all? Let me know. Subscribe to my channel for more little reviews like this, and I'll see you next time because we're not in Malmo yet. Goodbye.